Hello everyone, this is Colonel S, and welcome to another Redstone video. Today we are going to be looking at five Redstone contraptions that you need in your Minecraft world. These are all incredibly useful contraptions, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we start, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and it helps out a ton. Up first today, we have the item sorter and the storage silo. So we're going to start with the item sorter here. An item sorter is pretty simple. You build this contraption right here with a comparator running into three redstone dust, into a repeater, and a redstone torch over here. In this top hopper, we're going to have 41, and then 1, and 1, and 1, in all the other slots, of an item that is named something random, something completely random, so that you will never have an item with the same name going through the filter. So I just named it XYZ because I know I'm never going to name an item that. And then you're going to have the item that you want to sort out in this slot here. And then these two are locked because of this torch, so they're not taking any of the items. But when you throw in one of the items that you want to filter out here, like I have redstone right now, this will then power up, power this repeater, and turn this torch off so that this item can go through. So let me show you again. So as you'll be able to see here, the repeater turns on, shuts that torch off, and the item will be able to go through. Over here we have the storage silo. The storage silo is just a place to store items in these chests right here, but when a chest fills up completely, the lamp next to it will turn on. The redstone back here may look very intimidating, but it's actually really simple. It is just this module right here stacked on top of itself. So this is a very simple redstone module. It's just a comparator into a block, into redstone, into another block, into a repeater, into a block. And then in the bottom hopper, it's just a comparator into a block. And as you can see over here, we just stack that on top of itself to make a full storage silo. Now, if you really want to, you can put an item filter on top of the silo to control what items are going into it. The next contraption we are going to look at is the auto music disc player. So this will automatically shuffle through and play music, music discs without you having to interact with the jukebox at all. So under here we have a hopper that is directly below the jukebox, going into a dropper that is facing upward, as you can see here, and then another hopper that is facing into the side of the jukebox. And then the redstone for this is simple, a comparator in front of the dropper, into a block, into redstone dust, into another block, into a repeater, and then into redstone dust here. And you're also going to want to set this comparator to subtract mode. And then lastly, we're going to have a target block right here, right next to this, the dropper. The next contraption we are looking at is what I believe to be one of the most essential contraptions in all of the game. This is a smelting system, an automatic smelting system. So this design right here is one of the smaller ones, but you can go super massive with this. So in the top, you have your input chest. This is where you put all the items you want to smelt. They go into hoppers here, into the furnaces. And then in the front here, this is where you put your fuel. So you put your fuel like coal in this chest, and then they go into these hoppers and then into the fuel line of the furnaces. And then when the items are done smelting, they'll come out the bottom hoppers here, which go into this chest. Like I said, you can go really, really big with these smelters. This is what people call a super smelter, which basically just really, really quickly smelts items. Um, it has hopper minecarts delivering all the items and a system uh, that detects whether the hopper minecart is full or not and to release it. And this just travels down and delivers all the items into the furnaces, which then smelt, come out into this water line, and into these chests here. Uh, this is extremely useful for bulk smelting, like if you have a really big project on a Minecraft server. I built this on my Beef Nation world. Um, you can check that out in my live streams. But overall, this is an incredibly useful machine to have if you're playing on a server or even if you're just playing in a single player world and you have a lot of items to smelt. The next thing we are going to be looking at is an XP farm. This is a very, very simple XP farm and is much like the smelter we built over here. In the top, you have your item input chest. Here you have your fuel chest and this is your output chest. 
uh, it is very, very important that you have an output chest. You cannot be taking the items out of the smoker by hand or it will not work. To demonstrate how this one works, I'm going to hop on to Beef Nation. All right, so now we're here in Beef Nation in my house. This is my back room. Um, back here we have my XP farm. Is the same as the one I showed you in the video, just with a few more input chests. And the first step into getting this to work is to smelt a lot of items. And I mean double chests upon double chests of items. And when you're smelting these items, make sure that they go into a storage system below and not into the furnace where you can take them out. Make sure they flow through a hopper into a chest on their own. And once they make it into a chest, you can take them out whenever you want to. After you've smelted a lot of items, the next step would be to flip this lever right here so it is in the on position, shutting off this hopper right here. Then you're going to want to go in and personally place uh, potatoes or kelp or whatever you're smelting in there. And as you can see right now, I have 126 levels. When I take one of these potatoes out, I now have 131. And then I take another one, 135. And these levels just keep on coming every time you take something out. But this is only after you have smelted a ton of items and put them into chests through a hopper. The final thing that we are going to look at today is an armor equipping station. This is probably the simplest one we are going to look at today as well. So here we have four dispensers. All of them have a single piece of armor in them, each one different, so you have all four pieces of armor. On the back wall here we have a button, and beside this block here we have redstone dust here and redstone dust here. All you have to do is walk in, press the button, and bam, just like that, you're fully equipped with armor. This is very useful to have in your base to equip all your armor before you embark on whatever journey you may go on. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like below and comment what you would like to see me build next. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and it helps out a ton. See you in the next video.